Washington, products purchased by the federal government will be required to have a higher share of parts made in the United States to qualify as made in America under a new rule that President Joe Biden will announce Friday. Under current rules, a product is considered made in America if 55% of its parts came from the U.S. The rules change that Biden will announce at a White House ceremony would increase that threshold to 60% in October, according to senior administration officials who briefed reporters ahead of the the content threshold would jump again to 65% in 2024 and increase to 75% in 2029, the officials said. The federal government spends more than $600 billion each year to buy goods and services. The administration believes requiring a higher content of you. S. Made parts will create more opportunities for small and medium-sized manufacturers and their employees, including small and disadvantaged enterprises. At the same ceremony, Biden and the president of Siemens USA also will announce that the technology company is investing $54 million to expand domestic production and create 300 jobs to manufacture electrical infrastructure that will support everything from electric vehicle chargers to data centers. Siemens will invest more than $10 million to expand its existing smart infrastructure manufacturing hub in Grand Prairie, Texas. The expansion will include a 25,000 square foot addition, featuring a new electric powered paint line that will help the facility reduce its carbon footprint by 90%. The plant manufactures circuit breakers and equipment that support essential power infrastructure in some of the country's most critical installations, including data centers, industrial sites, and healthcare facilities. The company will invest another $40 million to build a greenfield manufacturing site to replace its facility in Pomona, California. The facility will produce low-voltage electrical equipment for industrial and commercial installations in addition to make-ready power distribution equipment to serve the expanding electric vehicle market.